In the last video, Mickey and me talked about how he had learned to pronounce R and R. You'll find a link in the description below. In today's video, we are going to talk about another method of learning R sound. Before you can learn R, it's necessary to be able to pronounce R without troubles. Because today we will gradually try to change R into R. Let's start with long R, 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 R. First, you want to just whisper. R, R, R. Then, you need to bite your teeth together while pronouncing R. At this point, you should be able to notice that the sound is changing a little bit and it is impossible to pronounce R with clenched teeth and it's changing into something resembling R. Last move is to pout your lips. So, you whisper your R, 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 R. Then bite your teeth together and pout your lips. With some effort, you should be able to say And that's exactly the sound that you want to produce, only a little bit exaggerated. Don't push it and really only whisper your Then if you breathe out a little bit stronger, like when you're pronouncing R, you'll produce R. In both cases, your tongue needs to vibrate even faster than when pronouncing R. Now, obviously, you're not going to make this face and grit your teeth like an insane person when you are pronouncing R. You need to learn how to produce this sound without all that gymnastics. But of course, that can be a slow process. Start practicing on words where R is at the beginning and it is followed by a vowel. For example, Rada. Rasi, Reka, Rezat, Rikat, Rien. Then focus on words with R somewhere in the middle of the word, but preceded and followed by a vowel. For example, Jerab, Porat, Kozeni. Hořet, hovořit, kouřit. Then a slightly harder discipline is to combine R with a preceding consonant. For example, drevo, břicho, křídlo, chřipka, mříže, zřídka kdy. Now, obviously, some words will be harder than the others, depending on how fluently you'll be able to move from one sound to the other. So, while first you need to work on the combinations that are easiest for you, in the end, you still need to train those difficult ones too. Last stage is reading out whole sentences. For example, Nebyli jsme připraveni na tak příjemné překvapení. Zřídka, kdy hovoří řehoř, tak vřele. Chřestýš se hřeje u pařezu. Potřebují novou skříň a křeslo. Ondřej dříve kouříval tři krabičky denně. Once you're able to pronounce those with ease, you've mastered the Czech R. Now, there's one more complication here which we need to address, and that's something that you might have already noticed when listening to some words. You can pronounce R in two ways. 
voiced and unvoiced. When saying voiced consonants, like for example B, G or D, your vocal cords are vibrating and they are producing a tone. The unvoiced friends, like for example P, K, T, however, do not engage the vocal cords and the stream of air is only passing through your throat, making a little bit of hiss. And R is pronounced by both of these ways, depending on its position in the word. Good news is that you've already practiced them both because if you whisper your sh, you're making the unvoiced variant. If you pronounce it fully like you pronounce your r, it's the voiced one. R, r is voiced if it stands between vowels a, e, i, o, u, if it is followed or preceded by a voiced consonant b, v, d, j, z, j, g, h, m, n, n, y, l, r, or if it is at the beginning followed by a voiced consonant or a vowel, like in the words úřad, vřít, hermanek. However, it is unvoiced if it stands at the end of the word or if it is preceded or followed by an unvoiced consonant. Like in words kes, tři, hořký. At the beginning, I would suggest though that you do not waste that much time trying to discern when r is voiced and when it is unvoiced. First try to get the sound uh, right, try to get the vibration on the tip of your tongue and then maybe when you are satisfied with the sound, when it is convincing, then maybe it's time to start focusing on the details like, like this one, like the voiced unvoiced variant. Now I'm sure that some people will find this method helpful and others will resort to combining sounds R and J, which is okay because it of course depends on everybody's preference and ability and you need to find out what suits you best and start following the most efficient method. I hope that you liked the video, if you did hit the like button and subscribe and of course if you are interested in learning Czech online have a look at our website, the link is in the description where you also find a list of words for practicing the zhe used in the video. Have a great day and do not forget to tune in next time because we are going to talk about something interesting again.